always online. DRM. The first ones to charge you to play your game that you've already purchased online. The first ones in, in ever to put a paywall behind using your apps like Netflix, Hulu. Manually forcing a piece of shit camera on you for early adopters. Manually forcing you on that. Manually charge, charging you $150 for that piece of shit sold separately. telling you to deal with it DRM is the future deal with it hiring Phil Spencer to do absolutely nothing but pretend like he's a gamer just like you and me and he's not when he's coming out and, ex and, and showing me exclusive DLC map packs for Call of Duty it's not a gamer it's not a gamer. you telling me that I'm going to ass rape you first on the Xbox One. It's not a gamer. A gamer would never. A, that's not a gamer, yo. Fuck you, Phil Spencer. That's not, a, that's not a fucking gamer. Exclusive DLC on Call of Duty. He's, he, he's, if he's a gamer, he's an out-of-touch gamer. He's a crazy-ass gamer. He's nothing more than another suit. That's hustling you out of your hard-earned money. We're in a recession. Microsoft has made a billions upon billions of dollars. And they're still trying to nickel and dime you. We're in a recession and, and Microsoft still doesn't want to cater to the gamer. Killer Instinct. They're nickel and diming you for characters for Killer Instinct. Microsoft is making billions of dollars. EA, billions of dollars. You, you're barely getting by. And they're nickel and diming you. That's not a gamer. A gamer, what? Would kid think about the gamer first? They wouldn't think about the companies first. Because we know the companies don't give a fuck about us. Phil Spencer, you're not a gamer. All of those things being said, yes, all of those things are going minus the $150 for the connects but the only reason they're going is because Microsoft is losing it's the only reason why they're going they're not going because Microsoft and Phil Spencer just cares about you it's gone because they're losing and they're losing big they can see something that we don't see yes Major Nelson's gonna come on these September updates with a stupid ass goofy ass gay ass smile hey guys hi this is what's new for this month <laughs> Everything's so great. Look at me, the ice bucket challenge. No, shit is worse than what they think it is. Shit is shit is worse than what it really is. No, shit is worse than what it really is. If they're if they're turning they're turning back everything this fast, shit is worse than what it really is. They must know that in the future. Even if they were to open up to other countries, they're not going to make no near, near, nothing, no money compared to what they made with the Xbox 360. The, the, the Xbox One is basically going through its PlayStation 3 phase right now. PlayStation 3 came out and tried to nickel and dime you by charging you a $600 console with no games. They're going to the they're going to the PlayStation 3 era right now, yo. They are pulling a PlayStation 3. History should tell you, like, yo, you cannot fuck over the gamers. We don't make as much money as you, Phil Spencer. You know what I'm saying, Phil Spencer? You must think you're a gamer because you can afford you can buy all the games. You must when you read the comment section, you see the person down in the comment section saying, Oh, I have all the consoles, so that makes me a real gamer. You really think that's a gamer, don't you? 
You really, you really think that that guy is the gamer? He first of all, he's lying. Second of all, having all the consoles doesn't mean nothing. Do you have all the games? No. How, how can you have all the consoles but all the games that you play are Madden and Call of Duty? Phil Spencer, that's not the real gamer. The real gamer is the guy that buys the, all the games. That's the motherfucker I fuck with. Microsoft really tr they they, they, pull, they pulled the PlayStation Three and blew it. They got they got greedy. They got greedy, and you can't be greedy. You can't be greedy when it comes when it comes to, to the gamers are not rich, yo. We we save up our checks for weeks in order to get your consoles. We're not rich people. Sony paid that price, and they lost billions upon billions because of it. Last night's conference was amazing. It was beautiful. Beautiful. All those all those Japanese games. Sony fan, Sony fan Sony fanboys, now you know why I'm mad. You know what I'm saying? Now you if, if you if you still don't know, then you, you're just blind. You're just a blind idiot that will die not achieving nothing to life. You would just be a, a loser who who lives behind a, an avatar on the, on YouTube for the rest of your remaining life. If you don't understand why I've been mad for all the past eight years. If the past eight years was like that goddamn conference that I seen last night, I mean, it, it would be a different Zobi Seventy here on YouTube. It would just be a different, it would be a different world. It'd be, it'd be a different Zobi 70. I mean, I, I probably wouldn't be on YouTube because I'd be busy playing all those goddamn games. I got to thank PlayStation 4 for having an eight-year drought because I was able to come on to YouTube. There probably would have been no Zobi 70 if it wasn't for the eight-year drought of, of, of PlayStation. So I guess it's a gift and a curse at best. But last night was amazing. The Personas, the Yakuza, the, the Sky of Fives, the... The Yeez, the God Eater 2s. Don't sleep on God Eater, please. You guys, all you do is play Madden and Call of Duty because you wouldn't know. But please don't sleep on it. Last night was amazing. And, 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 and Japan would never disrespect those people like they do us. Excuse me. Sony would never disrespect Japan by showing them indies, yo. I told you motherfuckers they wouldn't do that shit, yo. I told you motherfuckers. I said that shit. I said they would never... You, you, what's his name? Yoshida. That motherfucker would never come out of his mouth saying he don't understand the, the Japanese if they don't like indies. Now, they didn't show that near one indie, yo. They really don't give a fuck about you in America, yo. It's beautiful, though. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing that Sony would literally pull their cock out and pee on you. I wouldn't accept that shit. I was the only Sam Sony fanboy that didn't accept that bullshit, yo. And I made a video to prove it. Go back into the Zobie's Ebony archives and you will see it. Sony don't give a fuck about you in the States, yo. And it's beautiful. But those games that they make in Japan, they will be ported to the USA. Side by by Sega. Sega's funny. Sega's funny like that. They, they, got, a, they got a pride and ego thing, man. And it's, yo, I want Yakuza, yo. But they, they ain't bringing that motherfucker, yo. <laughs> they got a pride ego thing. They don't like when their pride of ego is hurt, yo. And they're really going to hold on to that goddamn Yakuza, yo. Fuck. Fuck. I can't believe you motherfuckers, yo. You 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 could you would I I guarantee the 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 map packs for the PlayStation 4 Call of Duty sold more than Yakuza, yo. I'm not even counting Call of Duty. I'm talking about the motherfucking nickel and diamond map packs sold more than Yakuza. A game that's just bringing you everything, yo. You can walk around Japan. You can do little mini games. You can fight motherfuckers. The story is amazing. It comes with a. You can go to the arcades and play with the arcade games, the Japanese arcade games. You can go to uh, uh, shops where you can talk to girls and stuff like they do in Japan, like little hostess shops. I mean, there's just so much shit to do in the game, and they, they don't nickel and dime you to play that shit. As a matter of fact, I think the DLC was free. They just gave you the DLC. 
The Yakuza games just come with a plethora of shit and none of you motherfuckers played it. But I guarantee all of you played those motherfucking watered down map packs. I love Japan, yo. They wouldn't fall for that shit. Japan won't fall for that shit. Love them motherfuckers, yo. Those are the real gamers. And they don't own all the consoles. I don't own the consoles, so I'm a real gamer. Stop, stop. You're a real piece of shit. That's what you are. I can't be a fanboy because I own all the consoles. <laughs> you're the worst of the worst. You're the you're worse than the fanboy. Anyway, this rant was supposed to be going after Microsoft and how they were trying to destroy gaming. But it turned into just a PlayStation for a Prey session. More videos on the way. I want to make a video talking about Dude Bro, We Don't Care. That's, that's, the that's my next video. Dude Bro, We Don't Care. We want games. Japanese games, that's what we want. Dude Bro, We Don't Care if it looks better on the Xbox One. We don't care if it's more fun on the Xbox One. Bring me Persona 5. Bring me Yakuza. Bring me Disgaea. Bring me God Eater. Fair offense. There's so much shit. There's so much shit that I didn't even include in the last video. Fair, you know, whoa. Bring me that shit. Then the Xbox want to be more fun. We don't care, dude, bro. Enjoy your Madden with its roster updates, you piece of shit.